What's up, guys and gals? This is Shy. So this time I'm doing the name topic video. I want to apologize for it being late. Um, I didn't even realize. Oh god, I just lost track of time. I really apologize. Um, and the next subject I'll probably end up being late as. No, actually, I don't know. Pending. Either way, going on. <laughs> the name subject video. The name topic. So the questions and the answer. Now I'm gonna adapt this to kind of where I'm at now, because I legally changed my name, so yeah, okay, let's go, <laughs> um, talk about your name, who named you, so, my biolog, I'm gonna talk about my biological name, then my, uh, <clears throat> I guess you could say chosen name, and there's a story behind this, so, you know, so, my biological name, um, my first name, I'm not gonna say what my name is, my first name was not named after anyone, it was the only name that, that my parents agreed on, Basically, my father and my mother were constantly fighting on a first name for me. This is the only one that, that they both liked. Now, my biological middle name is named after my great-grandmother, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a Jewish tradition to name... Um, I'm not going to get into the whole, like, complex, but Ashkenazi Jews, which is what I am, I'm an Ashkenazi Jew, you do not name your child after someone who's alive. So basically, if one of my names, my first or my middle name, there was someone in my close family that was still alive, I would not be able to have that name. But it's a tradition to name that person after someone who passed away. So my middle name is named after my great grandmother, my biological middle name. And my last name came from my father's family. So now you may ask, where did my now name, my chosen name, I guess you can say, come from? Which, ironically, is not my chosen name in a lot of ways, and you'll find out in a second why. Um, when I first figured out what name should I go by, I was like having this whole, like, oh god, what name should I go by? And I, this may end up overlapping on another topic, or not another topic, but another one of the questions. Um, I asked one of my friends, one of the only friends friends I knew then, uh, what, what should I do for finding a name? And he said to me, uh, you're Jewish, right? And I said, yeah, I am Jewish. He said, you should look for a Hebrew name or a Jewish name, whatever. You know, he wasn't sure of what exactly, you know, it would be. So I looked it up. The two names that came across that I really liked was Rafi and Shai. Yeah. Um, and I asked him, which one should I choose? He's like, well, in all honesty, it's your choice, but I think you're more of a Shai. All right, so I took his advice. Started going by Shy. Now, a few months after I came after came out to my mom, which is a while after that story happened. It was later at night. My mom was about to go to bed, and she is about to go up the stairs and says to me, "Isn't Shy short for Yeshaya?" I'm like, "Yeah, I think so." Go back in my room, start thinking about that. Think, Shy Yeshaya. Why did my mom ask me this? And I realized, Yeshaya would have been my birth name, my first, my first name for my birth name. So after that, I decided to put it upon myself, what would my name be if I was born male? And who were those people? So I found out my biological name would have been Yeshaya Baruch, not inserting my biological last name. And through time, I realized that's what I should just do. If it was just meant to be. And Yeshaya was my great-grandfather, who passed away at a younger age, and Baruch was my dad's favorite uncle. So that's where the names come from. My last name is my mom's maiden name, so Storm is my mom's name, maiden name, and it's not my biological last name. Um, and I have reasons why I switched it. So that's the story about how I got my name and who I'm named after. Do I like my name? My biological name, I never, ever, 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 ever in my lifetime felt like it fit who I was, so it never felt like me, it never felt like who I am, and how I presented myself, but the name that I ended up finding out was what I should have been named after, and what I should have been named if I was biologically male, I love those names, I love my name now, I'm so happy, like, words can't even explain how happy I am that this is my legal name, um, it just, like, I can't even I can't even explain it, but that that just made me so happy, and I'm so happy that things worked out the way it did with my name. To simply say, um, let's see here. Um, if you could change your name to anything, what would your name change? 
Uh, okay, so the name changing thing, we've already kind of went through that, since, you know, we're trying to get this topic for trans or non-trans people, so, um, yeah, so if, if I still biologically had my name, what I was born with, I would want to change it to a Shire Bark Storm, but I already did that, so, don't want to change it, because I legally did that. Um, when I get married, and I'll just put this in, um, I would want my, I would choose to whoever I'm marrying, no matter if they're male or female, if they want to take my last name or not. I honestly don't care. I'm not one of those guys that are like, you must take my last name. No, no, that's not me. All right, so I'll see you guys probably Monday, if not, then after my surgery. Stay safe, everyone.